the streets of the capital city were filled with red for game day, people gathered to walk from Memorial Stadium to honor the men and women who fought for their freedom. 1011 Chanel Taylor McCarthy went to the Veterans Day event today and spoke with those who hold the day of observation close to their hearts. Sam, folks from around Lincoln, both veterans and civilians, walked from Memorial Stadium to Antelope Park for the 25th annual Veterans Walk of Recognition. Afterwards, we heard from leaders and members of the community at the Ald Pavilion about what today means to them. Veterans Day, a day to recognize the men and women who have fought and those who have died for the freedoms we enjoy every day. From those who grappled in the Vietnam War to the people who have died contending in Afghanistan, family and loved ones came together in Lincoln today to remember the people they lost including Joyce Peck, a Gold Star mother whose son, Staff Sergeant Patrick Hamburger, died in 2011 while flying a Chinook helicopter in Afghanistan. He was a character by all means and um, my friend and my son and I miss him terribly and I know a lot of people do. Peck says honoring the person her son was goes beyond Veterans Day. It's very important for me to carry on Patrick's legacy by helping serve the veterans in need in this community. Veterans who attended today's event sang along to military service songs and joined in for prayer and invocation. Also in attendance, Mayor Leary and Gaylor Baird, along with members of Lincoln City Council, honoring those close to them that served in the armed forces. It only makes sense to me to make certain that every time we have an opportunity to say thank you and to hold someone up for having made such a large gift to the United States, that we do so. The day of reflection continues, but people are encouraged to remember those who have fought for the country every day. On December 16th, the public is welcome to a wreath ceremony at Wayuka Cemetery to honor the deceased soldiers buried in the military circles.